very good morning students welcome to the dg class for your economics book so in this class we will cover the first chapter that is the story of village palampur theek hai uski hum jo hai digital video ke through samjhenge the story of village palampur aur jo various factors of production hai unko unki details hum jo hai aaj ki class mein dekhenge Let's be into a hypothetical village in modern India called Palampur. It has a fairly well-developed system of roads, transport, electricity, irrigation, schools, and a health center. About 450 families live in Palampur. So, what do the people of Palampur do? Farming is the main production activity in Palampur. And in case you are wondering what the term production means, it is when products and services are produced to meet people's needs. Apart from farming, other production activities such as small-scale manufacturing, dairy, and transport are carried out on a limited scale in Palampur. Now think about it. What is required to carry out a production activity such as farming? The first requirement is land on which crops can be grown. The second requirement is of farmers who can manage the farm and carry out various farming activities. Finally, raw materials in the form of seeds and fertilizers and farm equipment such as tractors and harvesters. are also required there are four factors required for production they are land labor capital and enterprise meet gopal he is a farmer from palampur let us help gopal discover the role of land as a factor of production in farming activities first let us understand what exactly is meant by the term land it includes the natural resources of the world such as the fertile soil in which plants grow because the seeds forest deserts and minerals from the ground land has five main qualities click to find out more about these qualities Land is a free gift of nature. It can neither be created nor destroyed. However, it should be carefully used. Land has variable fertility. Some areas of land are more fertile than others. The fertility of land can also be affected by human activity. 
Old Bob uses fertilizer which affect the fertility of his farm. Land is immobile and cannot be geographically moved. Old Bob cannot move his farm to another part of the village. He can, however, sell his farm and buy another plot in the area that he wants to shift to. In other words, although land is immobile, its ownership can be transferred. You means that land is fixed or limited. However, there are ways in which production can be increased from the same plot of land. For instance, Gopal grows more from the same plot of land by using multiple cropping and modern farming methods. Let us see what is meant by multiple cropping. Gopal grows more than one crop on his farm during the year. Like most of the other farmers in Balakru, Gopal grows Jor and Bajor, known as Kharif crops, Jor, the rainy season. He grows wheat, which is known as a rabi crop, in winter. Gopal even grows some vegetables in the summer months. This is known as Zen cropping. Apart from multiple cropping, Gopal also uses modern farming methods, which are now available due to the Greek Revolution. And in case you are wondering what is meant by the term Green Revolution, it is an effort to increase agricultural productivity by the use of modern farming methods. Gopal uses high-yielding varieties of seeds, which increase the yield on his farm. He also uses chemical fertilizers and pesticides, as well as farm machinery like tractors and threshers to increase crop yields. These modern farming methods are not without their disadvantages. Excessive use of chemical fertilizers results in the loss of soil fertility. What's more, continuous use of groundwater for irrigation has reduced the water table. We must remember that environmental resources from the land are built over many years, and once they are destroyed, it is difficult to restore them. Go through the pages of this flipbook to review the main points covered in this session. Let us peek into a hypothetical village in modern India called Palampur. It has a fairly well-developed system of roads, transport, electricity, irrigation, schools, and a health center. About 450 families live in Palampur. 
So what do the people of Palapur do? Farming is the main production activity in Palapur. And in case you are wondering what the term production means, it is when products and services are produced to meet people's needs. Apart from farming, other production activities such as small-scale manufacturing, dairy and transport are carried out on a limited scale in Palampur. Now, let us see what is required to carry out the production process. There are four factors required for production. They are land, labor, capital and enterprise. In this session, we are going to learn more about the second factor of production, namely labor. Let us understand what exactly is meant by the term labor. Labor is the physical or mental work done by an individual for the production process. Labor is an essential part of the production process. It is required to complete any economic activity. The persons who provide labor are called laborers. Labor is inseparable from laborers because they are the source of their own labor power. Meet Gopal. He is a farmer from Palampur. Gopal owns a farm that is three hectares in size. Let us discover the role of labor as a factor of production in farming activities through Gopal's experience. There are two kinds of people that Gopal employs on his farm. There is Rajesh, who is a manager, and Vinod, who is a farm laborer. Think about it. How does Rajesh's work differ from that of Vinod's? Rajesh is an educated worker and has certain skills to carry out his work. He coordinates the farming activity such as procuring the required raw material and labor as well as keeping accounts. On the other hand, Vinod is an unskilled laborer doing manual work. So laborers may be skilled or unskilled. However, each kind of worker provides the labor necessary for production. Labor can be obtained from many sources. You may choose to carry out a particular task yourself. For example, in Palampur, small farmers cultivate their own fields. Thus, they provide the labor required for farming themselves. If you lack the skill, ability or time to carry out a particular task yourself, you can hire laborers to work for you. So medium and large farmers like Gopal, who cannot do all the work themselves owing to the size of their farm, hire farm laborers to work in their field. There are two farm laborers working on Gopal's farm, Harish and Vinod. Harish comes from a landless family, while Vinod's family cultivates small plots of land. Like Harish and Vinod, most of the farm laborers in Palampur come either from landless families or families cultivating small plots of land. Gopal needs to pay Vinod and Harish for working on his farm. This payment is known as wages. In fact, any person who provides labor is paid wages. In Palampur, laborers may be given their wages either in cash or in crops. 
Sometimes they may be paid in the form of meals as well. Kopa pays Vinu and Habesh in cash for the labor they provide. The minimum wages for a farm laborer set by the government of India is 60 rupees per day. While Kopa pays this amount to Vinu and Habesh, there are other farmers in Palanpu who pay their laborers only 35 rupees to 40 rupees per day. Since there is heavy competition for work in Palanpu, people agree to work for lower wages. Wages can also vary widely from region to region, from sowing one crop to another crop, and also from one farm activity to another. This is true for any kind of labor provided. For example, a construction worker in Mumbai may be paid far more than a construction worker in a smaller town like Nagpur. Wages will also vary depending on the kind of work done. For example, a construction worker who is laying bricks will be paid less than a supervisor who is overseeing construction on the site. People's wages also vary depending on their skill, efficiency, education and training. Unskilled laborers have a weak bargaining power and they have to accept the wages offered to them. On the other hand, skilled laborers can command decent wages. Laborers are free to change their profession, place and grade of labor, but their mobility may be limited due to certain restrictions such as transport facilities or customs and traditions. Another aspect of labor is the duration of employment. Gopal employs them on a daily wage basis. While Harish is employed for one particular farm activity, such as plowing, so a farm laborer may be employed on a daily wage basis, or for one particular farm activity, or for the whole year. Go through the pages of this flipbook to recap the main points covered in this session. Let us peek into a hypothetical village in northern India called Palampur. It has a fairly well-developed system of roads, transport, electricity, irrigation, schools, and a health centre. About 450 families live in Palampur. So what do the people of Palampur do? Farming is the main production activity in Palampur. And in case you are wondering what the term production means, it is when products and services are produced to meet people's needs. There are four factors required to carry out the production process, namely land, labor, capital, and enterprise. In this session, we are going to learn more about two of these factors, capital and enterprise. Capital is the variety of man-made inputs, such as tools and machines, ships to transport goods, and tractors to plow land, which are required at every stage during the production process. Enterprise is an individual's ability to efficiently use the different factors of production, such as land, labor, and capital, 
to produce wealth. Let us understand what exactly is meant by the term capital in the context of the farming scenario. Meet Gopal, a medium-sized farmer in Palampur. He does farming to get wealth for his day-to-day -day expenditure and to save for his future requirements. Gopal needs certain material to carry out farming. Can you guess what are the things he needs? Gopal needs raw materials such as seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides. He also needs money to pay his farm laborers and buy the raw materials and other agricultural equipments. Raw material and money are called working capital. They are consumed in the cycle of production. Gopal also uses simple tools such as the farmer's plow. He has a small granary to store his harvest. He may also use sophisticated machines, such as generators and turbines, for irrigation. Such tools and machines that can be repeatedly used over many years are known as fixed capital. Both fixed and working capital must be employed in the production process. If it is left idle, then it cannot be termed as capital. The form of capital can be changed. For instance, Gopal can replace his plow with a tractor. What's more, the value of capital may depreciate or fall over a period of time. For instance, a new tractor would not have the same value as a five-year-old tractor. Finally, capital is transferable. For instance, Gopal can sell his tractor, plow or tool. Now quickly take a look at this mind map to understand the main characteristics of capital as a factor of production. In order to acquire capital, money is required. Let us understand the various ways in which farmers can get money to acquire capital for farming activities. Small farmers or entrepreneurs need to borrow money from large farmers, village money lenders, or the traders who supply inputs for cultivation. On the other hand, medium and large farmers like Gopa have surplus farm produce, which they sell to traders in the market. Gopal saves a part of his earnings to buy working capital, such as seeds and fertilizers, for the next season. Gopal also plans to use his earnings to increase his fixed capital by buying a tractor for his farm for the next season. He lends a part of his earnings to small farmers. The interest from these loans adds to his income. However, the Gopal does not use his earnings to produce more wealth, then such earnings lying idle will not be termed as capital. Now, let us understand the concept of enterprise through Gopal's example. He innovatively uses his land, labor, and capital to recover the money he has invested and make a profit. He adopts strategies such as multiple cropping and using high-yielding variety of seeds and fertilizers. He also ensures that his farm is well irrigated at the right time. The result is a bumper crop. Gopal is the human capital or the entrepreneur who has innovatively used all the factors of production to make a profit.
capital and enterprise can also be used to carry out non-farming activities at Palampur, such as dairy farming, shopkeeping, and transport. Here is an example of Gopal's dairy farm, which has six buffaloes. He has made a special cow shed to protect his buffaloes from the extremities of nature. He feeds them with bajra and joy that grow on his farm and sometimes supplements it with special cattle feed. Gopal sells milk from his dairy farm in the neighboring village. This helps him to add to his income. Click and drop the labels into the appropriate slots. Once you are done, click View Answers to check your answers. क्लास यहाँ पे हमने क्या देखा है कि फिक्स्ड कैपिटल क्या है आपकी बफेलो एंड काउशेड बफेलो और काउशेड फिक्स्ड कैपिटल कैसे हैं क्योंकि ये जो है गोपाल को लंबे टाइम के लिए जो है अर्निंग्स यानी कि रिटर्न्स देगी बफेलो का मिल्क जो है सेल करेगा वो लंबे टाइम तक ठीक है और काउशेड जहाँ पे बैठ के काउ रेस्ट करती है वो उसको जो है जल्दी जल्दी नहीं बनवाना पड़ेगा मतलब कई सालों तक जो उसके पास रहेगा ठीक है तो ये क्या है उसकी फिक्स्ड कैपिटल वर्किंग कैपिटल क्या है ज्वार एंड बाजरा स्पेशल काउफीड ज्वार बाजरा जो है और जो स्पेशल काउफीड है वो वर्किंग कैपिटल कैसे है क्योंकि इनको जो है वो एज अ बफेलो फीड यानी कि उनको जो अपने उसके पालतू जानवर है उनको खाने के लिए जो देता है क्योंकि ये उसको उनको डे टू डे लाइफ में डेली देनी पड़ेगी इसलिए इसकी क्या है वर्किंग कैपिटल एंटरप्राइज क्या है गोपाल यानी गोपाल क्या है एक अपना काम कर रहा है ठीक है एंटरप्राइज कर रहा है अपना उद्योग कर रहा है तो गोपाल क्या कहा किस कैटेगरी में आएगा एंटरप्राइज रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट क्या होगा सेल ऑफ मिल्क जब वो दूध को बेचेगा तो बदले में जो उसको पैसे मिलेंगे वो होगा उसका रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड प्रॉफिट क्लियर